until the Not enemy until reaches they take the Fanatic on it. them. The champions of the galaxy down with them. Welcome to game number five. Welcome, Welcome to into the land of dawn as we are still at championship point. Oh, oh. Fanatic on it. Was Iron that Hook? Hook? It, it was, was an Iron Hook early. I don't know about whether he survived Purify. There's no first blood. I would love to see it over the, the clear, man. Give it a second. There we go. Pure, a flicker. Okay. Oh, it came out of nowhere. Dreams again on his signature pick. Onyx seems to want to try and go for it. And Keyboy doing the roundabout special. De denying, delaying the clear speed from Annabelle a bit more. Looking at the endless by Gage Max. Master Assassin now for both. Will enters, but Keyboy gets jumped on. Oh my god, Dreams. I don't know about that. The barrier as well is very, very low still in the bush. Harry gets the passive down on Clawkun and backs away. Brands though, look at that. Will and Master Assassin he wants to make sure that in the laning phase, we see it again, again, and again. And this, in this match, the laning phase becomes so much more important because then you have control. That's the same thing that applies for the EXP lane, but even also for the gold lane. Get yeah, the rest of them. Fluffy going in with the agility, he definitely wants to be participating in a lot of these engagements. But against the Uranus, we'll have to see. Luffy can be annoyingly cutting those lanes again and again, keeping this x just in the lane. So far, if we circle back into the gold lane, that level 4 will be a bit of a power spike, right? That's when Dreams and Brands can utilize it to look for a combo, perhaps maybe even a pickup into the side lanes. Meanwhile, nine seconds left on the next neutral objective spawn. The turtle gonna jump in. Annabelle at level four, but so is Kyrie. So it's a little bit of a 50-50 here, but we'll have to see how this pans out. Luffy? Luffy okay. Annabelle stuns it off. On as well. Razor's Wrath committed too, but Luffy just dashes out of that and picks up also that XP creep. Oh, Iron oh. Hook from Dreams. Sans getting popped another up in time. He cannot block her. Bursts him down. The audacity for Sans to not have a Purify. He won't be around. No Nether Realm, but he will and Luffy trying to find some space. Watch is available. He should be able to use a keyboard with a wild target. The fracture power of him with retribution. Meanwhile, Luffy pops in a Purify and the Consecration gets out to safety. Fnatic on a trade that kill for a turtle. Yeah, Kyrie's gonna be able to get and secure that neutral objective for their team. Despite things are looking like it went south in the team fight. And that's a problem, right? Sans on the Valentina. You don't want to pick, you don't want to have to be forced on the purify. It's just not worth it, right? It cannot exab exacerbate the creativity that Sans has, especially with how many choices he has on the side of Evil's Lord. There's so many different ultimates that he can pick up that he can utilize according to the situation. So. That is actually something that Evo's Glory can exploit. Iron Hook into the bloody hunt and the damage comes down, but Keyboy just walks out of there, man. What a chad. Really is depending on Brands getting that item power spike. He's still too tanky for the early game. He is running the firmness for an extra tanky as well. Kyrie, though, slashes Clock and down. It's kind of funny, though. We're seeing so many old metas, quote unquote, with a wild charge to secure the neutral objective, the Franco and Beatrix. Valentina like Faramis. Exactly. <laughs> both teams are just pushed to the brink so far back, they have to go back in time. The power of nature, the boy already used it earlier. And I'm also seeing away that gold <laughs> crab from CW. It's a small victory for Evo's glory, and they look to go towards the enemy purple, but Kyrie. Was two levels ahead of Annabelle. Spawning up a storm. Dreams looking for a way to shut him down, but hasn't really found the answer just yet. Despite it already going to four minutes. The longer this game goes, the more Ludpi is going to be a big problem here. For Evos, the only real way to try and shut him down is to just use all your resources to go on the game's really, But look at this. Snapping into the Iron Hook, but Sans has that another round. Keep away. Oh, still able to flicker out of the appraiser's wrath. Meanwhile, Kyrie stays busy, goes to the purple ball, steals it away, and still has the retribution. It's just all out pressure all across the map, but look at the response. Evo's immediately going for the turtle. Kibo will be trying to deter, but Luffy is in the area too. Nobody hunt this time for Dreams. Brand swamps to the Renner. Gets a shot down on the Luffy and the Renner's apathy, but Kyrie secures the turtle. Two turtles to FNOC.
They're gonna have to try and build a snowball from here on out. And that's exactly the plan that they're going for. Two. B-Boy is going in very aggressive, being able to back Kyrie up. But at this point, right, a 2k gold lead, CW on the Roger, needs the snowball, still at a 0 0 0. What do Evo's glory do here? Oh, force the flicker there. Whoa! <laughs> That's the Uranus pressure, man. It's relentless. And you're seeing that he's always one step ahead from Fluffy. He's, he's trying to be as effective as he was in the previous game, but with this Uranus constantly pressuring, already with the Brute Rush Breastplate as well, it's gonna be very difficult. And it's pulling away a lot of attention towards that EXP lane, which is allowing the rest of the map to be controlled by Onik, especially with the fast clear from Kyrie. Already two kills go ahead. The OD soon, right in time for the next neutral objective. Oh, oh good. Oh, has to purify out of oh. that man. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Hold your breath, ladies and gentlemen. Kyrie, four levels ahead once. To continue this, P-Boy has the wild charge, he can go for it, he decides to go for the power of the nature instead, just revealing it, and Annabelle wins out the retreat battle, gets an iron hook and the bloody hunt, other determined another realm, saves it, wild charge, on to three, and this time no purify for Quaku, but Kairi is able to get rid of the nether realm, the Bennett's rage actually is able to save them from that dive, oh, not iconic, that's another iron hook, but a purify from Lutfi, grants them their safety very easily. CW like and pounces to the wave. The entire engage keyboy gets taken down, but both of these teams, they're not going down without a fight. And even there, Kyrie, already level 11. He's actually three levels ahead of Annabelle as the next neutral objective comes up. And we've seen that the wall charge is an option, it's a very great option, a great tool. And Ludpi, there's still no solution just yet. Brands, not enough damage to really one-shot him just yet, even with the bloody hunt. Yeah, Brands just secured the BOD. Whoa. Is that a Malefic Roar afterwards? Is that the usual build for Beatrixes these days? Yes, it is. Build on the Beatrix now, but I'm, I'm more concerned about Kyrie. He has a BOD already. Iron Hook onto the Grok. That's a bloody hunt as well with the Venice Rage, but he's still able to survive. Watch hard to the back, and Kyrie gets a fracture down. But another round saves them. Boom! There goes the P. A bit more damage than he can tank out. Dream still going for some more. We've done another realm. Evo still hold their ground. They know they have more combos available. Natic Onik respect the potential. And it's back to the waiting game. And still very much even. Even though there's a 2.3k goal lead just by Kyrie power farming. Yeah, so despite Kyrie being able to get this EXP lead, they still haven't been able to utilize it, but I might be wrong now. There's Apathy used up, but... Oh, he really gets... Ooh. In fact, almost a read on that Stampede. Well, just like that, it's a rush take onto the turtle. Small victory from Fnaticonic, and for the most part, they've only been required to sacrifice the frontline members, although Sans has been taken out once. The longer this game goes, though, I think there's going to be more ways for Sans to show his creativity. For now, he's still waiting on some more item power spikes, but on the other side, Kyrie with the BOD. 2.6k gold ahead. The squishy members in the back need to be careful. There's a chance that Clockwood might get deleted before he can even use the spells as streams. Which one engage play? Very risky play there. And he does not find the value of that play. Meanwhile, up top, Kyrie doing quick or making quick work of that turret. Yeah, BOD over Melfi Gore second. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that they have opted to go for the Faramis for Evo's glory, it does push them to clump up the spies. And Kyrie on the Nolan with the mobility will be able to capitalize over it in these side lanes. So Evo's glory, they need to be aware of the housekeeping, right? Because even though there aren't any particular strong engages, even though it's not as messy and chaotic as the previous games that we've seen so far, here in game number five, Fnatic Onyx, they're playing the long game, they're, they're playing the macro game, and if this keeps on going the way that it does, Ooh. it will be something that Fnatic Onyx can utilize to their advantage, and Kyrie going to be able to get that orange buff away from Annabelle here in the ninth minute of the game. Gets it, gets out, see you later. For Fnatic Onyx though, again, it's reverting back to a really old style. 
for the longest time in this, even in this match, you do see that when they when both teams are trying to push the waves out, there's a bit of risk involved there in case it's a big play. But now with the Uranus in the hands of Fnatic Onik, for the most part, he is very secure, very safe when he's going for those pushes, which is why Kyrie can find the space to go and split push as well. It's like a double split push strategy for Fnatic Onik for now. And you can see that Evo is there forced to react, sending members to the other side. Lord is available. It looks like they're confused, and Kyrie is five levels ahead of Annabelle up to this point. Now, oh, more. what? Look at that damage! Kyrie! On this Nolan, he is dealing the damage. He is wreaking havoc on the peoples and champions. 4K goes like CW picking up the GDS. It's gonna mean a lot more chase potential, a lot more burst as well. And look at that! With wow. the macro play, that was a clean take from Fnatic Onik. Even though Evos have the tools to go for a pickoff, to go for a team fight, Fnatic I guess, isn't letting them at all. It's a 3 to 0 oh, in favor of Evos Glory, but it's a 5,000 goal lead for Fnatic Onik. But at this point, with Kyrie already at max level, it was an impressive 5 level lead, but now it's gonna get start shrinking slowly but surely. So Fnatic Onik also understand that there's some urgency to this game. Look at this, they're going to make a play for the third, but Dreams doesn't get the iron hook. Lutfi looks for a chance to be annoying once more. This is going to be them zoned away from the orange buff though. They're getting bullied. They're getting bullied in this game and it's only been 11 minutes. <laughs> well, with the seals, well, cancel that wild charge, finding two. But Quaklin purifies out of it very quickly. It's all just to get some space for this mid turret to fall, and the cannon minion is able to take it down. Bottom lanes here too as well. Kyrie doing work. It's so difficult for Evos right now because again, Lutpi always so healthy, so secure. Now setting for a dive towards Fluffy. Might be too aggressive though, another tower goes down. Lutpi gets pulled back in, Bloody Hunt as well. Locking him down, but another realm saves him. Kyrie in the back line now goes for the fracture, another realm now to respond it over. Devo is still able to flick around. Kyrie gonna be hooked back, but he's able to dash out across the base turret. Finds an angle to escape, of course. What? That was such a great pick off. And that should have been theirs, but Kyrie with the fast mechanics, with the fast hands, was able to do the fancy feet around it, dodging the damage, dodging the damage from the turret as well. Don't forget the whole time Lutfi is just healing around, running around, blocking hooks, blocking skill shots as well. And even if they go for a short engagement, Lutfi will be full HP before you even notice. 50 seconds to go before the next Lord, and you can bet that Fnatic Onik will be active on the other side of the map. There's still no chance, no way for Evos to try and get the punish. They have the BOD and the Malefic War in the hands of Brands, but at the same time, how are they supposed to expand all that just for the Uranus, and even then still go for something that's not quite guaranteed? This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. 7.5k with this... Wait, I, I can't even say this much action, like... The lack of action happening. Fnatic Onyx again, playing the map so, so well. And they're looking for more. Annabelle, they want to make him pay. They want to make him suffer. But Brands is going to be able to get both of these buffs. Is this the time where they're going to rely on Brands and Dream to make in the place for Evo's glory? They have to if they want to contest this, but Keyboy and Lutpi again and again. This literal stone walls for Fnatic Onik. Whenever something is going down, you see almost a double flank from Lutpi and Keyboy, knowing that they are too tanky, too safe, too secure with the crop control immunity and the regeneration. And that blocks attacks and pathways for Evos, but it also gives Fnatic Onik all the intelligence, all the vision. They always know where Evos is gonna be because they see Lutpi just walk around. They see them through Lutpi. And now it's just a slow build up for Fnatic Onik, just the way they like it. Doesn't need to be too flashy this season. We don't need to be too crazy. Relying on those fundamentals, relying on just those small advantages that build up. It's a 9.2k gold lead and they are building up these waves as slow as they can. Because they know Evos. 
They have wave clear. They have a beat tricks to play with. But they're not pushing in that top lane. Not just yet, they're staggering it quite a bit. Sans will have to look for the Netherrealm. They want to go for a big play on the base here. Oh. Keyboy looking for something. Trying to get that Lord in range of the charge, and it does not charge. They kill it right before. They deny that charge away from Admin OC. Iron Hook into the bloody hunt. Into the back. Keyboy finds a wild charge, but that's going to be the last insanity used up. Lippy tanking a lot of these turret shots. Buffy burning him down to the ground, but Lippy still able to survive. Not for long, though, as Buffy finally gets that last. Bit of damage to take him down, but look at the trade. It looks good for Evos, but then you see the base, and two of the base turrets have been taken out. Yeah, there was a reason why they pushed in that top lane the way that they did, right? The fact that it was able to collapse the Lord in the bottom lane, and then they were forced to clear it. And so they were able to actually get the tower in the top side under the nose of Evo's glory as they were distracted. And only one stands in their way. It's building that Lord advantage. You can even see it has a 1.9k gold advantage. I've been harping on and on about Ludpio on the Uranus, but the fact that he was able to buy so much time and force out so many resources is part of the reason why that turret on the top side also fell. 9k gold lead for now as Fluffy will be able to get a turret, but Evos, they're just clumping together. This is also the next big problem. They are clumping together for the Nether Realm, and they are concerned if anyone walks out ever so slightly, Kyrie will be waiting for that opportunity just pouncing on that opportunity to get a free kill. For those who have followed Kyrie and Onik since back then, you should know this playstyle that Fnatic Onik are playing. This is the banana split of Onik PH Season 8 and the M3 World Championships. And so far, it's working, but the way it's already pushing by default. Seems like Evo's Annabelle actually is on the scene faster. That allows CW to go for the push. There's not enough damage for Evo's to try and shred this Lord down that fast. And with the wave pushing in, now Fnatic Onik have a window to make their move. They might go for the purple buff first. Oh! The barrier forced to flicker. These small wins, man. It all clumps up. It all stacks up. And it's a mountain now for Fnatic Onik. Not even the purple buff given to Annabelle. Not just yet. Even for the purple buff, they need to work for it. Okay, but they don't force a retribution there, so it's still being able to be used in oh. the next Lord take. Iron Hook purified away. Keyboy goes in for the wild charge. No real initiation. Now as Anavel walks up forward, but now gets isolated. Fracture as well. Another row. Just to help Anavel escape, but look at the resources burnt out. Three ultimates, basically. And this is like a miscommunication for quite a bit. Since like Lutpi went for the purifier, but Keyboy went in to try and save him from the Iron Hook. Now with the Lord Evolve, there's a time for Onik to make their move. The Iron Hook doesn't land, so now there's a window of opportunity. And they have to send Fluffy. He's the only one that has the survivability. But it's so limited. The resources are now back up for Evo's glory. They want to go in for the contest. This might be the time. I think they're waiting on the Nether Realm from Klaakun, but as soon as that is up, they will go for the exchange. There we go. What towers? Keyboy finds the back. Tried to save Lutpi, but now no one's there to save Keyboy. Two members down, and Fnatic Onik did not get the Lord. A great play by Evo's glory. That didn't work out at all the way that they planned it. But it looks like Fnatic Onyx, they still want to go in for the commitment. Are they looking for a bait here? Are they looking to prolong the series? But Evo's Glory, the peoples are champions. They've been waiting for this moment. Eight minutes in. It's a dangerous situation to be in with two members down for another 20 seconds. The wave was pushing for Onik on the bottom side, but that's why the Franco becomes such a valuable tool. Forces the engage, and now shoes on the other foot. Exborg. Fluffy is the one exposing everyone. It's gonna be a Lord for Evos. You have to give it away. That's a Lord, and Evos glory finally. After 19 minutes, we see that sign of life. They were still in the lead in kills, but their first real objective is in the 19th minute of the game. <laughs> And look at the gold lead, shrunk them from 10k down to 5k. Definitely not the way Fnatic Onik wanted to end this game out. But this is the problem when you go up against a team like Evos. 
who are so patient, who are so systematic, and they have the tools available to really go for a long, long base defense, the Nether Realm. The B tricks with the um, insane amount of burst and wave clear, and as well as the X work, you can do the same thing with true damage. And of course, the DC farm miners like the Franco, like Annabelle on the Fredrin. A lot of players here that Fnatic Onyx will have to peel first before they can go for that crystal. And now, Glocken, he picked up the glowing one. So, with these frontliners, with the way that Fnatic Onyx have been playing for the past few minutes of the game. They're gonna start feeling that pressure, they're gonna start feeling that burn. Because the damage from uh, Faramis, it's not exactly as evident, but it builds up. And now Plotten with the glowing one. He'll be doing a lot of damage, particularly to Lutpi on the Uranus, who likes to stack up that HP. Lutpi also has to recognize that he is no longer as tanky as he was in the early game. Up to that fight on the bottom side of the base for Evos, that was still pretty okay, but now he can be one-shotted. Evos have bought enough time to reach that level, and with Fluffy being the frontliner now, only by the ones that are finding it difficult to burn through his HP bars. The people's the champions are making the impossible happen. They go in for the siege. Whoa. Let's see the defense. Harry's still in the mid lane right now. Lutpi gets targeted down as an iron hook not connecting. Lutpi gets another realm just in time, Sons. A little bit another realm now popped in. The fracture is going to be used up to try to clear the Lord, but the waves are crashing down into the base. That is open. But Fnatic Onyx stay resilient in their own base. Sons picks up the Holy Crystal now with some more burst damage to play with. Dashes forward as a fracture. Now Faraga are going to be taken out. Bloody Hunter, the last hard kill of the Gimoy. A good another round with Renner's Apathy is able to catch Lupi and take his immortality away. But Lupi gets pulled back by the Shadow Stampede. Knocked up by Annabelle. Burnt down by Fluffy. And he picks up the killing freak. One member, 7 0. Oh. Sans has fallen as well. Fnatic Onyx, their base is open wide. Fracture coming down. NCW tries to cover the damage. Won't be able to find Block Good. But look at Brands. But over the nature, he goes for the base. It's going to be Carry who tries to survive with Cloud and win that time. We'll get hooked by Dreams on the Franco! That is Fnatic Onyx Nightmare! One team, one voice, one family. Evo's glory! Against all odds, the pin pressured. Battered. They're both 